In this video, we'll show you how to create a simple football edit in After Effects. You'll see both motion graphics and camera animation. There's a lot of detail in the video, so I recommend watching it from beginning to end. Drag and drop the imported video onto the composition icon to create a suitable composition for the video. Then, open the composition settings and name it Football Edit. Set the composition duration to 15 seconds. Copy a video and find the most suitable location in the video. In my video, 1 second and 18 frames are suitable. Then, right-click the video above and select Time Freeze Frame. Then, split both layers from the same location where we created the freeze frame and delete any unnecessary parts. This way, the image is frozen just as the ball is about to kick. Now select the Ellipse tool and draw an ellipse the width of the ball. If you can't draw it exactly, you can adjust it using the size value in the ellipse settings. Align the ellipse so it's directly over the ball. Select the fill color for the ellipse to a suitable color. Then, add the glow effect to the ellipse from the effects panel. Adjust the glow radius accordingly. Then, increase the ellipse's opacity, set it to zero and activate the keyframe. Move forward 10 frames and set the opacity to 35. Move forward 5 frames and set the opacity to 25. Move forward 5 frames again. Copy and paste the previous keyframe. Adjust the shape's color to your liking. Now select Pen Tool and draw a short line. Turn off the fill color. Turn on Stroke and set the color to white. Then, open Stroke Settings and activate Dash. Set the Dash settings like this. Now, let's close these. Add a trim path to the line. Set the end value to 0 and activate the keyframe. Move forward 5 frames and set the end value to 100. Add the glow effect and set the glow radius to this. Then, select the text tool and type the appropriate text. Adjust the text size and position for the composition. Then, add the glow effect and set the glow radius to this. Then, add the typewriter effect to the text. Adjust the distance between the keyframes to this. The next steps will be similar. However, there are some differences and details you shouldn't miss. I recommend watching every second of the video without missing it. This is the first part of the video. I've divided it into two parts to keep it short. The second video will be quite important and more detailed. So watch this video until the end so that the next video will be easier for you. Enjoy watching.